Viewers, friends, welcome back to the Manchester United Arsenal Invincible Network game with myself and Work the Space. We'll be talking to Jack in just a moment about what's happened since we last met. And today, we've got a big game coming against Leeds United. Of course, who back then were very, very good. Now, it's gone better for Jack than it has for me, viewers. So, um, oh, it's not gone great. You can see here uh, from the, the fixtures, we had a very successful opening weekend against uh, Southampton, a 2-0 victory. And then we played Chelsea, who we did beat in the Community Shield. So no matter what Jack says in these early stages, I've already got myself a trophy, unlike Jack over there. Uh, so yeah, Crespo got the goal for Chelsea, and um, we were pretty not great, I guess is the best way of putting it. They dominated us largely. And the 4-4-2 at this point, I was questioning it. But then I thought, no, personally, we haven't stick with it, son. And uh, then Blackburn came along. 3-0 winning against Blackburn, which was, it turned out, to be a pretty good result. Solid from us. Ronaldo, Hassan and Rio Ferdinand getting on the score sheet. Rio Ferdinand with a, a trademark header from a corner. You'd love to see it. Um, is, that, hang on, is that Andy Cole? Had he gone there? Andy Cole for Manchester United. Andy Cole has gone. Um, yeah, but they were well beaten. That was quite easy. And Baggio's there as well. Oh, of course. Do you know Baggio? I mean, so many so many wonderful names right um so that obviously hasn't gone great for us uh so that game has gone great for us the liverpool game on the other hand 4-2 away at anfield always a tough place to go you know always uh, they're a good side uh and back then i think they probably had more premier league titles as well or uh, first division titles it must be said um you can see there it's not gone brilliantly. Wilfred Bruma scored for them, which is Bruma, sorry, who's, who's never, you don't, you don't want to concede to, to him. Uh, Michael Owen, though, who you can imagine is very, very good. Haman Carragher. I mean, Michael Owen has got some nice attributes. He's like the perfect poacher in many ways. He doesn't say he is, he is there, but believe me, he's the perfect poacher. Uh, we got a couple of goals. Renistor and Ronaldo scoring, so that's good. Uh, so my best bet was to drop one of them and change the system entirely. Let's talk through that. So, look, Manchester United were quite known for the old 4-4-2. They were good in a 4-4-2. But the thing Alex Ferguson was known for was reinventing the wheel, the Manchester United wheel, uh, year on year, going forward, right, and, and changing things on the fly, making sure that he had a, a total pushing side every single time. And that's what we've done here, then, in what is quite evidently a major change to the system. The 4-4-2 has gone, and uh, now lies this. Now... Hmm. Barter's in goal. I think we have to keep Neville, Fernand. Borden's come in next to, to, to Fernand. Um, we've, we've dropped uh, Juan from the back line. Sylvester left back. It should be said, by the way, Sylvester is one of the best left backs in world football on this uh, iteration of the game. So I appreciate that. In, in the midfield, then, uh, we've got Cleberson and Roy Keane. Now, we didn't really talk about Cleberson too much last time because I didn't envisage him playing. But actually, the 24 year old is very, very good indeed. So we'll try him in today's uh, games and we'll see all oh, the game against Leeds and we'll see how he does. Cleberson, welcome. Uh, that then means that Roy Keane will be alongside him and Paul Scholes will be pushed in a slightly more advanced position and we're going to try and use his creative brain in behind Ronaldo uh, he's not the quickest is Paul Scholes but I think he'll be fine in there I think he'll just keep it ticking around either foot he's got all the tools uh, has some one side gigs the other and I'm going first first, first things first we're going with Ronaldo over Ruud van Nistelrooy. Now, the real issue with all this, viewers, and you might think, oh, Ben, you've already lost two games, mate. The league table, you're 11th. Jack, Jack's probably suffering as well, is he? No. Um, Jack's won every game. He's got a goal difference of 13, and he's quite pleased about it. Now, I'm going to talk to Jack in just a moment, and I'm sure he's not going to... I'm sure he's going to be kind. No, he's, he's, not, he's going to be he's going to be ruthless. Uh, when Lawrence you've got the highest average rating, that might be an issue. But, of course, he's got the Invincibles. I'm just working with uh, just a generic Alex Ferguson, Manchester United. So... I'm going to try and reiterate that point as much as possible. Uh, one thing we can be pleased about is that Roy Keane has the joint most amount of yellow cards. So, that's the real quiz, viewers. Uh, right then, let's go and talk to Jack and then play Leeds and hope that everything gets better, viewers. Uh, Arsenal play Tottenham today, so he's got quite a tough game on the horizon. White the space, hello. Hi, mate. How are you doing? <laughs> you, I can, just, I can I, sense the smile there, early. There is Jack. a beaming smile on my face, my friend. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm great. Um, mm, the start of the season has, has started very well for you, it's not um, bad. but I've been looking at it, and you've had some pretty easy games. I mean, Middlesbrough, Doddle, Birmingham, Doddle, Leeds. I play today, so we'll, we'll hold judgment on that. Liverpool, when you, Liverpool, Doddle. Oh, tough side, oh. tough side, mate. Tough, very tough side. As I found out to my peril, underestimated them. I saw you beat them comfortably. I thought oh, I'll, I'll do that too. Then I imagine. Um, yeah, how have you? How have you? Sum up, summarize your first four games as Arsene Wenger um, I was about to try and put on a French accent but I shouldn't do that <laughs> thanks you can't do accents <laughs> no Jack, I can't I've established um, that many times inverted wingers work pretty well in FM it turns out um, mm. and yeah 
Omri and Vieira injured today, though, for the North London derbies. That is a little problematic. But it, just plain sailing, really. You know, plus 13 goal difference after four. Four clean sheets. It can only go worse. That's the worst thing about it. So Yeah. Of course, you can't afford to lose because you're, you're the Invincibles. So the pressure is is very much on. Whereas I, we can start rough. And then the comeback story, I mean, am I going to write it? Yes, I am. When you start drawing all those games like Arsenal did in real life, there comes me soaring up like a like a pigeon. Pigeon's not the right... Oh, Barn Owl? Not a pigeon. Barn Owl? No, I was, rocket, rocket. Rocket, okay. I meant rocket. I went pigeon. <laughs> um, I have you down as so a you've... Barn Owl, I think. How do you? Thank you very much. Uh, how do you see your yourself against Spurs? Easy win or tough one? Um, we're at home, so I expect to win. But yeah, we are without Vieira and Omri. They're on the bench. They got injured on international duty, so it's not ideal. Oh, but good we, we've got Carlos Tevez to step up and Ray Parler. So there you go. Yeah. He was quite good back in the day. Uh, I've got Leeds then. How do you fancy my chances? Give me a score. I mean, prediction. I've beaten Leeds one. What was your score against Liverpool? Uh, it was a tight 4-2. Four 4-2. Two. Four two. So that's a seven-goal <laughs> swing to me. So you'll lose 6-0 to them today because that's how football works. Look look forward to that, everyone. Uh, okay, then I'll speak to you on your channel after the game. Yeah, good luck. <sighs> Thanks, man. Not, I don't wish it to you. Come on, Spurs. <laughs> right, gang. We've spoken to White the Space. He was in jubilant mood, it must be said. Uh, we're running through the team for this one then. We're going to go this 4-5-1, sort of 4-2-3-1 system and uh, see how we fare. Roy King struggling for a little bit of fitness. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo finds himself on the bench with Van Nistelrooy and loads of other players are nearly there. Solskjaer is soon to be back as well. Of course, current Manchester United manager. Excited to see him actually in the side, but uh, it's got a bit of an injury that he picked up in pre-season. So, here we go. Leeds United. Uh, we'll try and avoid Jack's result until the end and then uh, we'll talk on his channel afterwards. We just want to try and keep the content as sort of solo as possible without having you watch the same thing twice. I hope, I'm sure you understand. Uh, the face pack is limited here, but they've got James Milner, Gary Kelly, who I always liked when I was a bit younger, Paul Robinson, Dimatteo's there as well. Oh, sorry, Dimatteo. Uh, Dimatteo. Dominic Matteo, who was back then. Uh, Ono's in the centre. I think that's Seth Johnson and uh, Viduka up front. This might be after a lot of players that Leeds actually left. I did wonder if this was Leeds' like, glory years, but I suspect this now was the year after the glory years of Leeds United. And and yeah, I think it was. I think a few are left. I think Smith's still there, though. So maybe not. Maybe I'm not right on that. I'm confused. Okay, dressing room. Time for a key team talk here. After the last game, I'm going to get aggressive. Uh, we should be winning this without any problem at all. I'm going in on them here. And we're looking for big things from uh, C9. <laughs> That's not his name. It's, it's not, it's not, there's no C in the regular Ronaldo, though. Re Cristiano Ronaldo has ruined the Brazilian Ronaldo for me. He was one of my favourites when I was younger. Now Everyone knows about Cristiano. I had a chat with Ellie, my uh, my better half. The other day. I was like, oh, I'll, I'll sign Ronaldo in the network save. She went, who? I was like, it hurt, viewers. It really hurt. She knows who Ronaldinho is, though, so I guess we'll give her that. Right. Here we go. I tried to sign Ronaldinho at one point. Didn't didn't come off for me. And Jack Hatchley, don't know if you mentioned this on his channel, but he tried to go for Rivaldo and then bottled that transfer big time. Got, got a little bit scared. Um, I talked him out of it. I th it was He's a very good player. Right. Early stages here. Uh, we're about 10 or so minutes in. Are we watching this in 2D or 3D? I think we go for some 3D, just because I quite like looking at Ronaldo's frame, if I'm honest. Uh, let's go a little bit. What are we doing here? Lowest possible. A little bit more zoom on it. There we go. Now we're laughing. Uh, we'll get rid of the league table again, as I do fear that Jack might be winning again. One Pablo and Gell's name's in the way. That's gone brilliantly well. There we Get rid of that. Here we go then. 30 minutes gone. United on the charge at whole, at home, sorry, at Old Trafford. I've actually seen a Manchester United versus Leeds game at Old Trafford as Cleverson strikes from distance and Leeds won it. It was Jimmy Betford who got the goal. Uh, we went for my mum's birthday. I don't know why I'm telling you this. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, come on, Manchester United. That, that feels so wrong saying that. Come on, Ronaldo. Come on, Team Ronaldo. That's what we're going with so far. Um, he's gone for that Brazilian vibe as Ronaldo. He's got himself a booking. So. Not perfect. Jack's got a lot of love for Mark Viduka as well. So Viduka is the man. To I mean, that is a savage tackle on Roy Keane there. Seth Johnson's gone. Gone. Off he's gone. Ten men for Leeds now. As uh, We might need to go a little bit closer here. We will do. As uh, the ball's fired forward towards Mikel Silvestre. Now, Leeds with ten men. That gives us a lot more of a chance. So far, Leeds yet to register a shot. As Ryan Giggs races forward. Finds Cleberson. Oh, he's gone for goal. Robinson saves to his left-hand side. It's a little bit quick, I think, for the 3D. So we'll uh, come off that. As we got ourselves a corner. Giggs is going to take this one. He goes short to Paul Scholes. Who's been fouled? Referee. The, where's the discipline? Viduka were kicked out then, I think, as well. Disgusting behaviour as we make our way towards half-time. Um, apparently, we should push forward. I think we should certainly go a little bit more positive 
um, going into this, in towards this second half. Uh, Leeds have gone for a three across the middle with a defensive midfielder in there now. And have basically just gone away. Viduka's got a big job to do in this second half. But it's nil-nil at half-time, viewers. And you've got to say... <laughs> We've been somewhat dominant. Um, not ideal. Ah, oh, that's... Uh, certainly say. Unlucky boys. Things haven't gone right for us so far. Like, if we have to take Ronaldo off to bring on Van Nistelrooy, it's not a bad substitution, is it? And it'll have until the hour mark to uh, to improve things. But so far, I've seen very little from our Brazilian wonder. Um, we did obviously play them both up top together. And they were scoring together. But then we stopped doing anything else, which was part of the problem. But now they're down to 10, actually. Hmm, maybe we go for two up front. Roy Keane's suffering a bit. Maybe we could push Skulls back a bit as a deep line playmaker. Bring on Ruse. Huh? Huh? I think so. I think that's what we should do. All right, there's the hour mark. We've seen nothing from Ronaldo. Nothing from the boys generally, to be honest. As uh, Keane's going to come off then. Now, maybe maybe he's a little bit stunned after being fouled earlier. And he didn't approve of that at all. So, uh, Van is going to come up up top alongside uh, Ronaldo. And then Skulls is going to drop a little deeper in sort of a deep line playmaker role. His defensive attributes, he's like he's got decent tackling. Paul Scholes not known for his tackling, but 12 tackling, I think, is all right. So deep line playmaker, dictating things from a deeper position. Uh, of course, we've still got Cristiano to bring on as well. Giggs is there too. So we've got a lot of quality on the pitch right now. It's whether we can make them pay. Of course, Jack only beat Leeds 1-0. So in my mind, viewers, this is, this is going fine. <laughs> fine. Here we go then, as it's thrown into play, uh, Viduka chests it down. But he's their key pivotal point up front, so unless they get players up alongside him... Paul Scholes just missed the ball there, viewers. I don't know if you saw that. It was more of a block tackle than a sliding tackle, as Leeds now race forward. It's not been a good start for us as Manchester United manager. And defeat to Leeds, 10 men of Leeds, would only make it worse. But Scholes intercepts, and now here we go. A chance for us to break a little bit. Hassan racing forward on that far side. Can he get a ball into the centre? Cleverson, he's had a few shots from distance. He's had another one that's gone wide. Come on, mate. All right, what point do you bring Cristiano on for a little bit of X-Factor? That's the problem. Uh, Edelson's going to come on for Ronaldo. Ronaldo's having a poor game by his standards. And uh, Nicky Bott is going to come on in the centre for Cleberson. So far, Cleberson's done a lot of lot of shooting, not a lot of anything else. I've made all three changes in a bit of a panic. Oh, God, what do we do now? But we've brought on some major quality there. Nicky Bart, again, very good back in the day as uh, Silvestro wins his header. But it's going to be Leeds in, con in control of the possession once again as it comes out to this left-hand side now. Oh, my word, surely not. Bartes claims that was a little bit of a nervy moment for us viewers as Bartes releases very quickly. And uh, Gary Neville, we've seen very little from Gary Neville in a Manchester United shirt for us so far. He finds his class of 92 friend, Ryan Giggs, who's raised for referee. Not only a, a penalty, he's pointed there very assertively. Love to see it. And uh, who's stepping up then? It's going to be Paul Scholes. Lovely stuff. Okay. Come on, Paul. This is this is big now. We can't afford to miss this. Paul Robinson in goal. And Scholes puts it away. It's a 1-0. And let's face it, viewers. We've, we've pummeled them. Leeds have had no shots in the game. So... This has been a little bit helter-skelter. Paul Skull stepping up and, uh, yeah, cool finish into the corner. I hope that Spurs have come back, viewers. I'm not going to lie. I hope they've come back to 3-2. But Spurs weren't as good back then. So that's the that's the worry for me. That Spurs are much better in these more recent years. So it's a strike from Nicky Butt that's found its way to the back of the net. And much like episode one, a 2-0 win. Which probably means the next time we meet, viewers, uh, it won't be going so well for me. I mean, the corner was nicely worked. Van Nistelrooy's out there for some reason. Uh, but Nicky Butt striking on goal. And that's what you want to see. 2-0, comfortable at this point. And the changing system has worked wonders. I mean, we've gone to our fourth. This is our third formation of the season. Um, as they've got a free kick as... Oh, goodness me. A bit rude of them there. Thinking they can just go for it whenever they want. Willy-nilly. I'm not having that. Right, time's ticking away here. It looks like that's going to be... No, another free kick to Leeds United. Played in for Duca on the score sheet. Is he onside as well? Because Jack's going to love that. That is annoying. Mark Viduka scored. And uh, one of Jack's favourite players of all time. Let's just make sure it stays at... There's a highlight after the goal. We're going to go to a more balanced approach. Not defensive. We're not scared, viewers. We're just... Um, we just, um, why is there another highlight? Maybe a third for us? Yeah, probably that's what it is. Giggs racing forward at the Leeds United back line. Finds Van Nistelrooy. It's, it, it, well, it's a goal. I mean, Dominic Matteo has, it's not gone great for him. I mean, we'll look at it again in, in a replay. I might go for a behind goal replay here just to see what on earth has happened and how it's found its way into the back of the net. Giggs races forward with it. It gives it to Van Nistelrooy, who doesn't do anything, gets tackled. It hits the big man in the middle, which is uh, Dominic Matteo, and it goes into the back of the net. Not brilliant from Leeds there, but with the nervousness you can sense in my voice, I will take that. 
And there we are then at Old Trafford, Manchester United 3, Leeds 1, and the hunt for the Invincibles continues. Right, let's go and talk to Jack about his result, and I'll see you for it in just a second. In fact, no, I won't. Sorry, that will be on Jack's channel exclusively, that second chat. Uh, so what we'll do is bring our episode to the end. Next time we meet, I won't reveal Jack's result, or do I? I guess I kind of have to, right? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, no. So, the next time I think we're coming back will be the uh, Manchester City game on Saturday the 27th. Manchester Derby. Uh, we'll have played quite a few games in between their Champions League Cup games. Uh, we'll focus on the Champions League towards the very end of it to see if we progress through uh, when we actually play Arsenal in a couple of episodes' time. Uh, so, if you're looking forward to that, do make sure you subscribe. And uh, if you enjoyed today's video, do drop a like on it. There's a link to Jack's video in the description. And I'll see you again soon. Goodbye. And now I've got to go and talk to him about his win. Oh, dear.